Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool called Sophie App that'll let you tweak a bunch of your Windows settings. Uh, it's a free download from the GitHub website, so it's just a zip file that you extract and you run the executable. And of course it's one of those things where you use at your own risk, but usually the stuff on GitHub is okay and you can you know read what other people are saying about it as well before you download it. So once you run it, you'll just double click it here. It's going to go through your current settings to see how your computer is configured. Now it's broken down into several categories here, and when you click on each category, your op category your options will change on the right here. So I'm just going to kind of run through. I'm not going to obviously go through every setting. So you got your privacy settings. If you want to change stuff like that for feedback frequency, uh, diagnostic data gathering, turn some of these things off here. And you got personalization. You want to hide the you know PC icon on your desktop, simple things like that. Uh, some of the stuff you could do from File Explorer, uh, where you want File Explorer to open to, quick access or this PC, compact mode, how you display the file transfer dialog box, uh, recycle bin information, taskbar alignment, uh, search button on taskbar. Control panel options, color modes for Windows. JPEG quality for wallpapers. So a lot of stuff here. Then you got system. So you got storage sense, you could turn that on or off. Then you could check the options for it. Some other stuff here. Default printers, updates from other Microsoft products. Uh, power plan, so let's do a little test here. So right now, let's go to power. Okay. So it's on high performance now. So let's change it to balanced. Click apply. You'll see it restarts uh, Windows Explorer because your icons will disappear there. Okay, let's go back to power. And now it's done balanced instead of uh, high performance. So that worked. Uh, some other options here where you want to save your screenshots when using the print screen key or win print screen key, I should say. Uh, troubleshooters. Default terminal app. Get rid of OneDrive if you want to uninstall it. Uninstall some of these other Windows packages here. Okay, UWP apps. So these are like the Windows apps here. You could uh, this will show you which ones you have installed. And if you don't want something, you should be able to click on it to remove it. Click apply. Now it's gone. Once again, restart Explorer. Sometimes you get this message: "Please reboot your PC to apply settings or after applying settings." Uh, you don't have to do that right away, obviously. But I think to kind of finalize things, you'll have to do that. Okay, so now we're in games. Cup, just a couple of things here. If you want to get rid of this Xbox stuff here, schedule tasks. Uh, tasks you could run, or you could open the uh, task scheduler here. Security options for uh, Microsoft Defender. Notifications about changes. Context menu. Now, if you want to add the extract all or install from certain types of files, like for example, so an executable file. So this one here, if we right click on it, go to show more options, we have run as administrator, but let's say you want to run it as another user, you can check this box here, apply. Okay, let's just reopen the stuff here. See, now you have run as different user and as well as run as administrator. And then down here, the Windows 10 context style menu. Let's see if this one actually works, depending on what version of Microsoft Windows or Windows 11 you're running here.
There we go. So now it's back to the Windows 10 style. Uh, Right-click context menu. If, if you don't like it, just uncheck it, reapply it. Now we're back to the Windows 11 style. And finally, settings, uh, theme settings for uh, light and dark and English. I'm not sure what this does. When I turned it on, I didn't see anything change, so maybe you'll be able to figure that out. But overall, it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, you should be able to use this on Windows 10 as well. I don't know how it will affect certain settings, but you could try it out. So once again, use at your own risk. I'll put a link in the description for the GitHub site. You could uh, download it and nothing to install. Just run the executable and start tweaking your settings. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.